boy Raffy right Stop here with some um, submitted questions DJs, from my DJs. homeboy T Nice man. Um, T Nice, he been working. He's originally from Farmville, Virginia. Um, yeah, independent local artist putting on. He just dropped a tape called Safe House Tape. You know what I'm saying? And y'all have been putting in some work, man. So you know, um, his fans, his supporters, hit me up like, you know, we need an interview from T Nice. Um, get him, get him to work. And so we gonna go off some of the questions that were submitted from Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, um, Snapchat, Facebook, you know, social media. We gonna go over those, man. So, what's up, T Nice, man? Welcome, um, man. This is Rapid Fans presents T Nice. Um, so tell us, man, what? How did you come up with the concept Safe House for the tape, man? Man, it's crazy, right? I um, already knew I wanted to do a uh, mix Safe House. Like it's about that time to put out some more work. Uh -huh. So I was just recording, and uh, actually, the one of the first songs on the tape was the Stick Talk freestyle I did. Yeah. And then the um, in the song, I said, "This is a safe house." You know what I'm saying? And then after I did it, I was like, yo, that should be the name of the tape. You know what I'm saying? Safe House. Like, the concept just popped in my head about it. You know, pretty much just like a regular safe house. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't in this house, then you ain't safe. Nobody's safe outside the safe house. And not disrespecting nobody or anything like that, but you know, like, if you're not team or I don't rock with you, then you competition. You know what I'm saying? Pretty and much. I'm, I'm going at you. That's how, pretty much like that. That's how this you got the fans feel like. It ain't no, it ain't no competition. It ain't no beef. It ain't no nothing. That it's just what I do. I take pride in it, and I want to be the best at what I do. So you know what I'm saying? Like. Me and, me and T Nice, this is Rapid Films and T Nice got several videos out, man. Every video we put out, like you can see the, you can see progression. the progression in our videos and our, you know what I'm saying? When we get together, man, it's epic, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. So, um, what's one of your favorite songs on the tape, man? Man, man, my favorite song most definitely will have to be movie. Movie, movie song. We yeah, actually running with that as a single. You know what I'm saying? Me and my man say about to shoot the video for it soon. You know, but I just love that song because the concept behind the song is moving, and people will automatically assume I'm talking about drugs or dope, right. something like that. But you know, honestly, what I'm saying is whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's shirts, music, insurance. Uh, whatever it is that you selling, man, you gotta get it and you move it, like you know. And that's how I feel about the Safe House tape, man. You know what I'm saying? We did the project. The project is dope. It's hot. Um, shout out to DJ Anonymous and uh, DC Top 20 for hosting the tape for me. And um, we got the product. The product is fire, so now it's time to move it. Um, tell us more about your DJ, DJ Anonymous. Shout out DJ Anonymous, man. Heard some good feedback from me working with Young. You know what I'm saying? Y'all putting in some work. He hosted the tape. It was crazy. DC Top 20, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? DMV. Let's get it. Man, uh, with, with Anonymous, it's crazy because back in the day, I had did uh, VA Animal Tape, which is a series that I have. Um, I have one through three right now, but I had hit him up about some CD duplication. And he was actually out in DC. Um, at a club called Ozio's mm -hmm. rooftop party. And I mean, that was my first time going out there to a rooftop party. It was a day party at that, so it was like two o'clock in the afternoon. And he had that joint jump, and he had to turn, you know. And I went up there and got the uh, dupes from him. So then, you know, fast forward a few years later, mm -hmm. and um, I was looking for a DJ to host the tape because I wanted to add a little flavor to it. I felt like this was gonna be the one. And I was like, I need a DJ with a nice name, um, you know, already established to jump on the tape and add to what I was trying to build. And I shot him an email and, you know, same day he hit me back with the price on it. And yeah, I mean, it was good for me. So we went ahead and put the work out and it, it came back dope, you know what I mean? Shouts out to DJ Anonymous and uh, his company, DC Top 20. Um, you know, we, we just been working from there, you know, servicing um, records and stuff like that. We just got a lot of stuff coming after that. We built a nice little relationship and we still build it. So it's almost definitely be dope what we're doing, man. Stay tuned to that. Um, so as far as you dropping a tape, what's the what's one of the biggest reactions you got? How you feel? How do you feel? How it's moving as far as um, internet wise and like actually being in public and dealing with fans. Yo, it's so crazy, dog. Like, the first day I dropped, the first day that the tape dropped, well, before that, I was doing promo for it, of course, you know, telling people that it's dropping, um, you know, putting out flyers with the dates on it and stuff like that. And the day that it dropped, social media went crazy, at least my social media went crazy, with people liking it, sharing it, telling their friends about it. It was just so crazy. It was an um, unbelievable response for real, because I knew the tape was going to be big. 
but just the first day, you know, I had crazy amounts of downloads and crazy amounts of plays for uh, artists like myself, you know, it's not like I'm already out here with a huge name, I'm building that, you know, so that response was crazy, and still to this day, I mean, it's been about a month or so now since the tape been out, and people still going crazy on the internet and sharing it and telling me how they like it and that's fire. People that I know and people that I don't know, which is the craziest thing. You know what I'm saying? It's always a pleasure, man, when somebody you don't know can recognize your talent and, and what you do as an artist or a videographer or anybody. Just like keep up the good work, salute you, all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's always good. And, and that's just the internet. You know what I mean? Like lately, I've been hitting the streets, handing out the mixtapes. Um, so if you need one, hit me up, man. I'll mail it to you. I'll bring it to you. Whatever it is, I'm doing it. I'm trying to get this work out I'm there. trying to move it, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, I've been putting it out, you know, out here in the streets, and it's just crazy because people were telling me that it's fire. People uh, ask me for copies to give to their friends. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, you know, walking down the street or whatever, and I hear somebody playing it in their car. And it's just a, a great feeling, man. A humbling feeling, too, because I'm not a cocky person. You know what I mean? But it just lets me know that what I've been doing is working and that I just need to turn it up some more, you know what I'm saying? Um, what's some of your best features on the mixtape? Uh, man, I only got one feature on the tape, for real, for real. Other than DJ Anonymous, which is just, you know, put the icing on the cake because the music is already fire. But what he added to it, crazy. And I got my homeboy Rain on there, you know what I'm saying? That's my DJ from back home. Um, and Farmville, shout out DJ Rain. DJ Rain, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and just that's the feature I got on there. Me and him got a track called Play Me, mm -hmm. and pretty much that track came out, came about because uh, when we created a safe house name, me, him, um, his brother AD, my homeboy Tay, uh, we was like, you know, we we gonna do more than just the name on tape. We gonna make it a brand too, and, and push that. So <clears throat> when we did that, you know, of course we had people that would try to be down with what we doing or people that didn't talk to us beforehand coming up talking to us now trying to jump on to what we doing yeah. like anything that you doing you know what I'm saying when you, when you bubbling of course people gonna try to jump on and do what you do um, and we was like yo these people wasn't trying to rock with us at well, first you know what I mean in the gym when I was practicing yeah you know what I'm saying you wouldn't want me shooting in the gym you know what I'm saying you know, so you know what style would be so there's no way I can beat you man. right exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know so it was like yo let's create a song to that, the song is called Play Me, you know, you can't play me, like, you know what I mean, we're not letting that happen at all, so, I had to get him on that track, it was only right, and that's the only feature I got on there, for real, Um, how old is T-Nice, and where is T-Nice from? Man, I am 27, I am from Farmville, VA, I spent about seven years in, uh, Nova, which is Northern Virginia, up in the DMV area out there, uh -huh. Fairfax County, uh, Loudoun County, I was just up there. It was up there moving around a lot, but I'm, I'm originally from Farmville, born and raised there, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to bring it back home, man. I'm trying to, you know, put on for the town that I'm from, man. Which is also the town that uh, Lady of Rage is from, you know what I'm saying? If y'all remember her back in the day signing Death Row, I rock rough and tough with my Afro puffs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she was also Baby D and Friday. You know what I mean? Yeah, for a lot of people that don't know, she from Farmville. Yeah, man, you know. But I I'm trying to be the next thing out there, man. Doing it. You feel me? Putting on for the town. Shout out to everybody in the town that's making moves, too. Everybody that's doing music. Everything. You know what I'm saying? I see all y'all. I don't feel like I'm better than y'all or nothing like that. I'm just trying to put on, man. That's it. And gotcha. let everybody eat, too. So, um, where do you want this tape to go, man? What kind of achievements you trying to, you trying to attain while pushing this tape? I'm trying to take it to the top. All the way to the top. I know a lot of people say that. If you walk and say that, then I was just gonna cut the camera. <laughs> right, right. As you should. That's what you need to do. As you should. Man. Yeah, but I'm trying to take it to the top, man. I'm trying to gain more friends, more fans, not more friends. I'm trying to gain more fans, build better networking uh, connections, and just, you know, just get love for what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it. It takes, like, just putting out what I love and I just want positive feedback from it. I just want great feedback from it and I'm just trying to, you know, better myself as an artist, you know what I'm saying? I got you, man. Um, you got anything bubbling up? Um, any new tracks coming out? You told us about the movie video. You got any new mixtapes coming out? Can we look forward to any shows? Anything like that? Yeah, right now I'm on. I mean, I, I, I love performing. Performing is something that I love to do. I'm very energetic. You, know you got to like you gotta, you gotta know the performing game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I feel like my performance show is uh, crazy, man. You got 
what you got coming up, man? Like, you got any shows coming up? You got any, any singles in the cut that you are gonna drop other than move it? You got any shows coming up? You know, right now, we, we, we booking shows right now. You know, I don't have any uh, any dates right now, but most definitely, if you wanna uh, holler at me and book me, you know what I'm saying? Nice music, PR, at gmail.com, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up. But as far as uh, stuff coming, man, we just pushing the tape, for real, for real. So like I said, we got the first single, Move It, which is gonna be a radio single, and also another cut off the track called Fuck It. Off the mixtape called Fucking Get Money. You know what I'm saying? That's the club banger right there. We got that moving in the club. So we moving two tracks at once. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do a video for that too. You already know. Um, are you are you looking for any features from future artists? Are you looking for any collaborations? Anything like that? Man, I'm down for whatever. I'm just trying to work yeah, and build a rapport with other artists and just build, man. So most definitely, if you're an artist and you're trying to work, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Holla at me. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the track is fired up. You know, but I'm most definitely down with it. No, no crazy yeah. black music. You gotta right. have some sauce with it too, man. You gotta be exactly. dripping, you know what I'm saying? Have good energy and positive vibes, man. Um, you got any shout outs, man? Anybody you wanna shout out? Anybody, you know what I'm saying? Show some love to? Man, shout out the whole town of Farmville, man. Most definitely. Everybody that's out there that's back home that's doing their thing. I mean, I see all y'all, there's a lot of artists that I rock with out there, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no hate in my blood at all, you know what I'm saying? I most definitely got love for everybody. Shouts out to my man, this is graphic, you know what I'm saying? Holla at my man for the dope videos. I mean, you already know what it is, Safe House, man. Safehousetape.com, got it on the shirt, you know what I mean? Just shout out everybody, that's it. <laughs> Point blank period, you know what I mean? Um, from what I've seen so far, man, as you working as an artist, I've seen the progression myself from when we shot the first video, um, getting this shit, that shit was crazy, like, from you putting it on, getting it on DJ Glide website, and just being a power horse in the music, music industry, and finding out the business and how to conduct yourself in it, and not just putting out bullshit music, you know what I'm saying, you put out some, you've been putting out great music, you've been putting out great videos, you've been rocking with me for a minute, man, I just, Daddy. Like, come here, man. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I got my son with me. I always keep him with me. What's up, buddy? Yeah, you gonna say what's up to the camera? Say what's up. You doing the interview right now? Say what's up to everyone. What's up? This is my son, Elliot. You know what I'm saying? He always with me. Everywhere I go, when you see me, you see him like a real father should. You know what I mean? No disrespect to anybody like that, but this is my man. You know what I'm saying? And, and most definitely, that's another thing for the music, man. Like, uh, mu music is always in my mind. It's something that I um, got covered in my mouth. But music is always. It's always a dream of mine and something that I wanted to do and I feel like I can't stop no matter where I'm at I can't stop because what kind of you know influence would I be putting on him you know what you mean? just so, stop chasing your dream right exactly and that's something that I will always preach to any kid my kids whatever it is you know what I'm saying like now now my daughters think I'm old enough where I can take them on shoots for me as long as it ain't no no trap location or nothing like that like if it's a positive song and we shoot outside or somewhere I take my daughters with me man and let them hold the cameras and Show them what I'm doing, introduce them to the artist. Yeah, you know, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that you at work. Like, yeah, it's work time. We got exactly. It. I see you guys. Come here, buddy. Come here for a second. You too cool, man. I wish I had a son. <laughs> hey, yeah, man, you know. I'm a little guy. Hey. Okay, hey. There you go. Hey. <laughs> with, this, with this safe house tape being out, um, how do you feel about comparing this into your projects that you've done before this? Like, um, yeah. Hands down the best one. Hands down the best one from the content of it because you always gotta grow. You know yeah. what I mean? You always gotta get better. And uh just the mindset that I was in when I did this, I mean, you know, it comes not just from music but from a life standpoint. Like I'm in the best position I've ever been in in life. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Definitely. So the music is better than it's ever been. Definitely. You know. Um and just my mindset, just learning about, you know, the music business and how things work, the kind of music that people kind of, that, that people like and not only that but you know, just being the kind of person I am now is more so a message and in songs, you know, in songs like move it. You know, people can take it as a trap song, they can put it in the club and bounce with it, you know, but at the end of the day, it's still a message telling you to move it. Whatever it is that you're doing, get out here and move it, you know what I mean? So, I most definitely rate this number one compared to all the mixtapes I've ever done, you know what I mean? And the feedback from it showed me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is the best feedback I've gotten from a tape I've ever done. I mean, and granted, that does come from, you know, better marketing, better promotions, you know, doing stuff like this, like getting shirts made. I think it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Safehousetape.com, man. Make sure you log in. Like I said, I see your progression. Like, you doing more with this tape than, 
you're done with any tape since I've known you as well. Like as far as the shirts, you get getting new dudes, you looking for shows, you the right. DJ is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Just a whole bunch of different shit that you've been doing with this project. Just showing me that you want, you know. That, that, that much harder to get that much further, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Exactly, you know, same thing I was saying um, when my son was running it, like I gotta go super hard and do all that I can do. So he sees it, like you know what I mean. Now he's at an age and he notices what's going on when I'm recording music. He's in the studio with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I came here, you know, thank you for walking me in your house. Definitely. You know what I mean? But he here with me. Definitely. You know what I mean? Like he sees it. So I want him to get older and be like, man, like I need to go hard. Let him, let him adapt that. You know what I mean? To have that to uh, to follow behind a, a, a blueprint. You feel me? That's how you gotta you gotta set the blueprints for your kids. Man. Most definitely. Um. Where can we find you at on social media? Bro? Man, Instagram, the real T Dice, Twitter at T Dice, and that's T N Y C E by the way. Uh, Snapchat, the real T Dice, uh, Periscope, which is you know Twitter, but that's T Nice. I get on there, I do live freestyles. Um, when I'm in the studio recording, I get on there and I, I turn it on. Um, let's see what else is it? SoundCloud, official T Nice. Uh, Man, what up? There's so many social media sites out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Facebook, Nice Music, you know. Uh, and most importantly, you know what I'm saying, the, the mixtape, just go to safehousetape.com. That's it, safehousetape.com. Make sure you go there. I got all my social media on there. I even got the mixtape on there. I got the video that me and my homie right here shot, you know what I mean? The uh, Stick Talk video, which we shot in Farmville, by the way. I had to bring it back home, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's where you can find me at, most definitely. And just somebody. I don't know why you sideways, fool. I'm doing an interview right now, man. I'm gonna have to um say something back. <laughs> I'm working. I'm working right now. <laughs> How many shirts you trying to get? How many shirts you trying to get? And this an uh, interview from one of my old friends, man, trying to catch some shirts too. Um, we live right now doing the interview. My homeboy Dub, man, from Richmond, Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Um, how many you trying to get? Look, man, I'm going to finish working and I'm going to call you back so we can talk about it. I don't know, bro. How many shirts? 32 shirts. I can't answer that right now. My mind ain't on that. Alright. Sorry about that, man. That was, that was crazy. It's all good, man. It's all good. You gotta get that working. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get that working. That was just crazy and random and shit. But, um, what else, man? What else we can talk about? How is, how is the music scene in Farmville other than you putting on, man? Are you, is Farmville on your back right now? Are you the movie maker in Farmville? Is, is everyone gonna follow your lead? Man, honestly, I'm not gonna say I'm the move maker. You know, it's a lot of people out there that's making moves. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people out there making moves. And, uh, is it on my back? Like, I want to put it on my back. You know what I mean? Like, most definitely, it ain't no hate towards nobody, nothing like that. You know what I mean? Like I said, I got love for everybody out there that's doing music. You know what I mean? And what I want to do is, it's not a music town. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. But I would love to make it that, and that's what the whole safe house thing is about. You know, it's a lot of promoters out there that's doing stuff too, that's throwing crazy parties. You know what I mean? Shouts out to all of them. You know what I mean? That's throwing parties. I, I'm not gonna name them all right now because I don't want to miss anybody or forget anybody. But it's a lot of people out there throwing some crazy parties, not just in Farmville, but just in the surrounding areas. You know what I mean? So shouts out to all y'all, man. I see all y'all that's doing that, and I just want us all to link up and do something big and make it a music town. You feel me? I've been to some of the safe house parties, man. 
Yeah, it was crazy, bro. I left messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody joined the new year joint. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, shout out to everybody that's out there making moves, whether it be music. Anything that you're doing, you know what I'm saying, just on your job. Anybody that's on their job and on their grind, I salute you, I see you. If you know me, then you know I'm all about positivity and, and pushing it forward, about being better about everything, you know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. So salute to everybody out there making moves, man. I see and, and support and love all y'all, most definitely. Man. So we're going to wrap up this interview, man. Is there anything that um, you want to say to the people, any information you want to give to the people, man, where they can find you, call you, hit you up, cop a tape? Most We've been probably on the same thing the whole interview, but yeah, this is the end of the interview, so we need to give y'all the, 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 the in-depth details about the Safe House Safe and the campaign that we're pushing right now, man. Look, man. Look, most definitely. I'm going to turn my hat around because get, I'm, I'm getting serious. Look. <laughs> Safehousetape.com, man. Safehousetape.com. Safehousetape, man. I mean, the whole thing is fire. It's popping up on the screen right now, man. Safehousetape.com, right you know what I mean? Everybody, check that out. It's fire. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. You know what I mean? And that's how we rock it. I'm trying to do something big where, you know, I'm going to link with you on that. But, you know, everybody that's helping me push the movement forward, you know what I'm saying? You get the shirt. You know what I mean? Free of charge. You're already getting the mixtape free of charge. I'm not charging for that. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I love money, but it's bigger than money. You know what I mean? Like, money come, money go. Like, you know, it's all about the brand that I'm trying to build. It's all about the safe house. Tape, the safe house brand, it's all about what we pushing and what stand what I stand for and what I stand behind. I got you. you know what I mean? Because if you don't stand for nothing, you fall for anything. And, uh, right. We standing right. tall around these sports right now, you feel me? <laughs> so yeah, safehousetape.com, man. Make sure you log in. You already know what it is. Shouts out to DJ Anonymous and DC Top 22. We got big things coming. All right. Um, this is Rapping Fans, man, signing out. If you need shirts, safe house, safe shirts, hit me, man. If you need regular shirts, as you can see, you can hit me, man. Um, I specialize in videography, photography, marketing, and, and branding independent artists, such as T Nice. You see what we try to do here. Um, just hit me, man, and we'll come up with a budget and we'll work, man. Appreciate y'all for checking out the interview. As always, you can go to my channel um, on YouTube. This is Rapper Fam. Check out all my latest work, my blogs, uploads, videos, music videos, documentaries. trying to get a shot at the ring. Talk about me all the time. I'm a household name, but I'ma take that shit. I tell her, take that dick. Bust up in the face and smear it on your makeup, bitch. Just that safe house shit. Try to take that shit and you